Hey guys, MGH here bringing you some leaked FIFA 12 gameplay and I thought I'd try something different with this. I thought I'd do some it's live commentary but what I'm going to be doing is saying what comes to my head. So it's completely random. I thought instead of uploading this with some music I thought I would just uh, have some input because FIFA 12 is a game that I'm certainly looking forward to a lot this year, probably more than any other game besides Battlefield 3. Saints Row 3 as well is up there but I think FIFA 12 for me is because it's a game I know I'll play until the next one. And um, so I'm going to talk about what this is. So this is tactical defending we're looking at here. I think this is going to be Walcott. I've, w I've uh, watched this once. <coughs> Sorry about that. I really had to burp. I just had loads of Pepsi. I always have Pepsi before I comment. I'm stupid. I am. But yeah, Walcott was kind of crap in FIFA 11. Would anyone agree? But um, he's going to skill these two defenders up. Oh, bring it back. And he's going to flick it. Oh, oh, look at that beastie touch. And uh, I've seen, you're going to see at the end of this video, that uh, a bit of demo, the demo that comes out on September 13th, uh, there's been a bit of leaked footage with all the players in the demo with their overall ratings, and uh, you're going to be mightily impressed. Uh, Messi is actually 95, I mean, fucking hell. Uh, so yeah, Walcott, I believe, is now 85, and he was something stupid like 78, which was just so, so bollocks, if you ask me. Um, so now Walcott's going to be good, I'm definitely tempted to play Arsenal. I didn't play Arsenal at all really as FIFA 11 and seeing as I support them I feel like I should be playing them, you know, but here you're seeing their new dribbling mo model, I guess, uh, precision turn radius. Um, I think it's pretty cool because you can you can see that the guy is aiming where he wants to dribble, you can see the line is, is pointing the direction where he's pointing the stick and then the player goes into the animation and then he makes the turn. Uh, but it doesn't look much different from FIFA 11 that, maybe they've just, you know, I don't know, tuned it up a bit. And now this is interesting, dribble while shielding. Instead of getting bombarded by those strong defenders, you know on FIFA 11 when you're running down the wing against Barcelona and PK just fucking missiles into you and takes the ball? Well, it looks like it's gonna be a lot more difficult. You can see that this um, this isn't obviously the final game, look at the graphics, uh, but I'm guessing this was like in their beta, uh, testing out their new features. You can see that they've, um, they've really introduced something new there with the uh, shielding. Now, FIFA 11 tackling was, it was, again, like I just mentioned, if you had a strong defender like PK or Puyol or Vidic, especially Vidic, you just fucking run into them and bombard them and you just stick your big toe out and you'll get it. So maybe they're they're changing this in FIFA, uh, FIFA 12 because they were saying that you, you shouldn't be using your defenders like missiles. What you should be doing now is, you know, very tactically moving around and filling up gaps where the players will make runs and you know more intercepting play uh, and they were saying that you know the tactical defending is really gonna it's gonna make defending more fun and what they were trying to do was make FIFA 12 as fun as it is on the ball off the ball so you have fun defending and look at that tackle how realistic is that holy shit uh, this is the new injury feature they have so they're they're actually able to determine where the player was hit and how hard and what kind of injury he'll suffer. Um, look at the physics. Oh wow, so you can see he was hitting the knee there and I'm guessing he's gonna have an injury in his knee. So let's see what this is gonna be. I didn't get a chance to read that, I was a bit quick. Oh, so it's more sliding in and tackling. Oh, he completely missed the ball and freaking took his legs out. Oh, let's have a look at this. Oh, that was a bit close, wasn't it? He almost got taken out there. Whoa, do you see that? Strength he had on the ball. I think that's Essien. That was really cool. Well, the guy who's controlling this video isn't very good. Uh, obviously, it's not me who made this video, but I thought I'd do some commentary over the top. He is very close to getting his legs snapped there. Look at that. That would have been a, such a beastly tackle. Yeah, so in FIFA 11, that... He would have got the ball, no doubt, and if he didn't get the ball he would have taken your legs out, yellow card, straight away. So it's looking like the game's going to be more fluent, less stoppages because the players are going to be stronger and much easier at avoiding. Ooh, that is a very late tackle, poor Anelka. Number 39, who would want number 39, honestly? Very bad tackle there, that would be a yellow. Essien. <sighs> Look how cool that is, holy shit. I think I didn't watch up to this part, so this is all new stuff for me. That is absolutely brilliant. In FIFA 11, you would have both gone down there, surely. And then it would have been a struggle to whoever gets up first gets the ball. And uh, that's like a 
a lunge from the defender there to try and get the ball out of danger in dangerous areas. So that's pretty cool. You don't really see that in FIFA 11. It's always standing up and trying to block things. That's a nice tackle on Torres there. Is that Colo? No, it can't be Colo Torre. It might be Sanyo or something. Or Juru, maybe. Number three. Who's number three for Arsenal now? I think it's Juru. And it looks like Torres is injured, or he's being a little pathetic girl like he usually is, and he's laying on the floor. He wants the magic sponge. Guys, get the magic sponge on his um on his knee, quick. Honestly, what a pussy. I think we're coming to the end of this gameplay, but uh, something on the end here. It's quite ex it's quite exciting. Self injuries? What? Oh, from running too hard, maybe. Oh, that's gonna suck. Oh, what? He was running too hard and he injured himself. That is gonna suck. What if you're running down the ring, uh, the wing with Messi or something, and you just get a, you injure yourself from running too hard? I guess it adds realism, but it's going to be annoying, isn't it? And it looks like, uh, I don't know who that is. The the graphics aren't exactly very clear, because it looks like the guy's recorded it on his TV or something, or his monitor. This is the last clip, I think, and it's tugging on shirts and bumping into, uh, into each other trying to get the ball. Look at that. That is like real life. Okay, so we're going to move on to the demo, the, the ratings that the players have. We can see here it's AC Milan and Manchester City. Tevez is 88, Ibrahimovic 89, Thiago Silva in defence 87. Obviously you need to go back and have a look at these and pause it to see their ratings. You can see there Rubinho only 84, Dzeko 83 and Aguero is 86. Not too bad, Wright Phillips is on reserves apparently, poor guy. I bet he's going to buy this game and cry. <laughs> this is the demo that comes out on September 13th. Ah, oh, here's Arsenal and Barcelona. Pause the screen at Barcelona at the end of this video. Go back and pause it. Iniesta and Xavi are 92. Messi is 95 and David Villa, 91. They are overpowered as shit. <laughs> and uh, Arsenal are a little bit better this year. Not too much better, but they are better. Which is good news for me. And then we've got these two stupid teams that no one cares about. Borussia Dortmund and uh, Olympia Marseille. So thank you for watching guys, I hope my commentary kind of made you understand what I think about the game. Can't wait for this fucking game!